okay okay so in this video we'll cover how the faculty can give a annotated feedback to the student through assignments okay so as you can see right now so this is the faculty dashboard and uh, they are taking up these courses as faculty or instructors so now if i go to the grade 10 mathematics this is the a course which is being taken by this faculty as you can see here so and also they uploaded an assignment and they are expecting the students or learners to submit their assignments either in online text i mean to say a text format or they can submit a file as well okay so uh, this is being there here so now what i'll do is i'll just switch back to a learner role and then as you can see now so this is the learner dashboard i logged in as a, a barbara so here i am able to see that uh, there is an assignment called arithmetic progressions what i'll do is i'll just click on arithmetic progressions so as you can see the submission status is no attempt and grading status is not graded and then there is an option where you can add the submission as i told you before um, if you click on add submission there will be two types of uh, options that you will be getting one is you can upload the i mean to say you can give the uh, you can submit the assignment in a textual format if you want you can submit it in the file format as well so right now i have uh, some kind of a sample submission that i have uh, which contains some uh, sample content now what i'll do is i'll just upload this assignment here so once i done that as you can see i'll click on save changes once i uh, click on save changes what happens is the assignment in a digital file will be submitted and it will be for grading okay grading status still actually it is under the manual grading option so the faculty or the instructor will log in and then grade it manually so right now as you can see this is the submission that i have done so now what i'll do is i'll switch back to an instructor i mean to say the faculty and uh, whenever i click on this respect to chapter 5 arithmetic progressions so uh, you will be able to see that uh, what barbara student has been submitted the assignment so now once i click on arithmetic progressions as you can see there are some two submissions and once i click on view all submissions so here uh, it will give me the list of all the students who have submitted the assignment so here as you can see barbara and uh, it is being submitted for grading now what i'll do is i'll just click on grade once i click on grade so what happens here is it will load me up the file which was submitted by the student okay so as you can see it is uh, still generating the pdf okay so whatever the student has uploaded the same file will be coming up for the faculty or the instructor so now based on this uh, submitted assignment so faculty will be able to add any remarks or annotate it i mean to say right now as you can see there is a this thing so i can just annotate it it's saying that okay this is correct this is correct this is correct okay so i will be able to annotate it and there are different types of uh, formats for example if you want to add a, i think uh, as you can see this uh, there is a uh, you can add the comment here like uh, like this okay once i uh, uh, done this okay so now it is being saved here as a comment so now uh, after this so i had some corrections if i want to make so i can do that corrections once i done that uh, as a faculty or a, as a instructor what i'll do is i'll just click on save changes so once i click on save changes what happens here is so changes have been saved and uh, to the grade and feedback were saved so now if you see uh, you can grade it here as well so i can give some grade at, uh, out of 100 i can give some uh, 70 as an average grade and then i will again click on save changes okay so once i click on save changes this also will be saved okay so 
so yeah now actually as i told you like i upgraded the grade okay i updated the grade for this respect user and i just clicked on save changes so what happens now this actually will be submitted okay and it will be even available for the learner so that they can review it okay so now the annotation uh, feedback has been given by the learner sorry by the faculty so now learner will be able to process that file i mean to say you can just uh, check that what all the corrections uh, that is being suggested by the faculty okay so now what i'll do is uh, i'll just switch back to learner dashboard and uh, um, what i'll do is i'll just uh, refresh this page because before it was not submitted now if you see this it is being changed as grading status as graded okay and also you will be able to see there is a feedback which was given by the instructor as you can see the name okay and also you will be able to see what was the feedback that was given once i click on view annotated pdf it will show me here okay so as you can see these were the things the faculty has done and here uh, there was a comment okay as you can see now and uh, it is being shown up and uh, if there is any annotation which is done on the pdf uh, page too it will be shown here as well so now uh, this is how the feedback that can be given by the faculty to the learner when they submit the assignments so that uh, these versions will be maintained here itself so this is how the annotated uh, pdf feedback works okay yeah so thanks thanks for watching